Hey everyone, welcome back to our Getting Started series. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to choose what processes to automate. Let's dive right in. First, we wanna identify the right tasks to ensure success with automation. So we need to choose what to automate. That is anything that's a time consuming tasks, high volume tasks, error prone tasks. Remember how we talked about setting your house on fire? How can we choose tasks that help us to avoid those catastrophic events? Compliance or regulatory requirements. You can identify processes that help you to automate some of that. And of course, customer demands. What do your customers need? How can you get to a point where you can serve your customers better by having processes that are automated? If we go back to the example from the last video, how can we make sure that we don't spend an hour getting our candles, our wax, getting everything lit before we can actually talk to someone in a shop and instead flip the light switch and provide your service? Next, you need to consider the rules of automation. First of all, it needs to solve at least one of these problems. Next, it needs to be technically possible, which we like to say is the best kind of possible. Do you have the tools needed to automate this? Can you integrate this into Roost? Is this something that can actually be done? Next, like any project you're working on, you want to clearly define success. What is the outcome of this process supposed to look like? What are the inputs? What are the outputs? Next, you want to consider maintenance. Just like the light switch we talked about, lights can go out. You flip on the switch and suddenly the light doesn't turn on. What does that require? Well, maybe it's a light bulb. Maybe it's a fuse. You need to understand what that maintenance looks like and what it's going to take to make sure that that's updated and continuously working over time. And next, if there's there's some part of your process that you can use for multiple automations. Maybe that's checking a ticket ID or emailing someone with certain information. You can reuse that in all of your other automations. So it's a more modular approach to automating a process. Next, we're going to talk about how success with automation gets easier over time. Now, one of the things you don't want to do when you're getting started with Roost is assume that you have to build this massive process in your first go. That's not how this works. You can find value much faster and you're going to get more success over over time. So one of the things we recommend is starting small. What small process can you automate? How can you build on that? You'll develop your own patterns for success. As you build the first time and you get it to work, you can build on that over time. So don't be afraid to dive in, make something, get started and go forward. And then also Roost, the platform itself is going to continue to get better over time. We will continue to build the product and make it more valuable so you can get more out of your process automation using Roost. And finally, it's good to know what resources are available to you to be successful. As we like to say internally, it's dangerous to automate alone. So take this. So the tools that you are using to automate as an MSP, most of that's already served up in Roost as the actions you can use to build your automations, but some of it you can take advantage of even if it's not connected to Roost directly. And we'll talk about more about that later. Next, you need to understand the goals you're working towards to determine which tools are gonna be a best fit for you. And maybe this one's obvious, but I'll say it here anyway. Check out Cluck University, otherwise known as Cluck U, because we're gonna continue to build courses like these to build up your skills and to equip you for your automation journey. And finally, yes, I'm up here now, we have the community that you can access. I cannot emphasize enough how important the community is to your automation journey. Our community here at Roost is awesome. We have so many customers doing great things. You can check out our Discord with this link and get signed up. You can also come to our many offerings that we have available. We have an AMA every Thursday. We also have an open mic on Friday where our customers themselves will come in and show what awesome things they're building. You'll find links to these resources either in the description below or on the roost.help page for this video. That's going to do it for this one here, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through scoping out a small process so you can start thinking about how you want to start scoping the processes that you've chosen to automate. So I'll see you in the next one.